for the Indian National Congress to celebrate the Golden Jubilee celebration of the state of Meghalaya because as we remember clearly, it was with the cooperation and blessings of late Indira Gandhi ji that the state of Meghalaya came into existence in 1972. <coughs> the slogan of the then State Hope Movement was rare and unique where the people of Meghalaya fought the non-violent way in order to protest and to demand for the state befitting for the people of the state of Meghalaya. It is through the blessings of the Congress that this state was carved out, out of the state of the erstwhile undivided Assam. We have had so many chief ministers who have built brick by brick the state to what you see it today. To name a few, the founder, chief minister, late Williamson A. Summer. He was there in the helm of affairs for a good number of years. And it was through his initiation that several development programs and projects were delivered and brought to the people of the state of Meghalaya. We cannot also forget the contributions of late P.A. Samma, the contributions of D.D. Lapang, the contributions of Ba S.C. Marak, Ba J.D. Rimbai, Dr. Mukul Samma, these are all leaders of the Indian National Congress. And in all of the 50 years of the existence of the state of Meghalaya, 35 years, 317 days of good governance was delivered to the people of the state of Meghalaya through the Indian National Congress. Some of the big institutions that need to be mentioned at the juncture before we celebrate our 50 years of statehood is the setting up of the NEC headquarters in Shillong, the setting up of the Northeastern Hill University campus in Shillong, the initiation of the Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences or Negrims in Shillong. The leaders of the Congress Party also ensured that Meghalaya was able to further build on the first ever power project at Sonapani in those years. We must remember that it is the Sh Indian National Congress that has seen it fit to further bring good governance to the doorsteps of the people by initiating the various districts, subdivisions, and blocks throughout the last 50 years. <coughs> Today, we can see that Meghalaya, by and large, has been able to serve the people of the state of Meghalaya. And we, as a party, extend our warm wishes to all the citizens of our state on the achievements that we have 
made together, marking its 50th year of existence. If you look down the line, it was the Congress Party that initiated welfare projects in various sectors of governance. If you look at the MHIS card, it was engineered by the Congress Party for the people of the state. When you look at the way the food and civil supply systems have stretched out to the entire nook and corner of this beautiful state, it is the Congress Party and its positive policies that has ensured that every citizen of India who is fitting to be beneficial of all kinds of food uh, security projects. And today, we are happy and proud that this system has bettered itself in the last few years. It is the Congress party that has recognized the autonomous district councils and has strengthened these councils through the years, giving power to the people to exist under the umbrella of the Sikh schedule. In fact, late Rajiv Gandhi further instituted a provision that these district councils, autonomous district councils, should never be eradicated or removed from our systems, even though the Panchayati Arch system was put into play.